Now let's create a pin slot joint as you can see here. So for this, let's start a new design and create a new component. Let's name it frame. Now create a sketch on any of the vertical plane and create a center to center slot. It can have any length and any width. Let's invoke the offset command by clicking O in the keyboard and just offset it sufficiently. Click on OK, finish the sketch. Now select this region, press pull and click on OK. Now create another component. Let's name it slaughter. And for this one, select this particular face, create a circle. Let's snap to this, finish the sketch. Just extrude it outwards. Click on OK. Then select this surface, create another sketch. Again, a center to center slot. Select this, it can have any distance. And finish the sketch. Select this region, select this region also by pressing control and press for it outwards. So we are all set to create the joint. Just invoke the or activate the head assembly and go to joint. Now select this particular face, this particular joint origin for slaughter and for the frame, just hover the mouse anywhere and select the center by pressing control and just flip the position. The motion type is pin slot and click on OK. Let's animate the model. You will see some overlapping is there. So what we can do, we can simply edit the joint limits. For rotation, there is no issue. We need to edit for slide. Let the rest position be 0 mm only. For maximum, let's make it, let's say 20. Better make it 25 or even 30. And for minimum, let's make it minus 30. We are all set. Click on OK and animate the model. So this is how a pin slot joint is created in Fusion 360. Now you might ask, what is the difference between a cylindrical joint and a pin slot joint? So for this, we are having a C-clamp assembly that we have made earlier. Here, what we had, when we are rotating this handle, we are also having a sliding movement. But as you can notice, this rotation and this sliding motion, that means the rotational and translational motion is in one axis only. Let's show the joint. Let's see the cylindrical joint. Just click on edit joint and you can see the motion. The motion is in Z axis only. But in case of this pin slot joint, when we click on edit joint, you can see in the motion for rotation, we are having Z axis, but for sliding, we are having X axis. That means rotation is in one axis and the translational motion is on another axis. So that's the basic difference between a pin slot joint and a cylindrical joint.